Welcome back, automotive enthusiasts. Get ready for some exciting news about the Porsche 911 Turbo S. We've got the inside scoop on its upcoming mid-cycle refresh, and trust me, it's a game changer. But before we dive into all the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. And if you're as excited as we are about this Porsche, give us a thumbs up and share this video with your fellow car aficionados. Recently, the Porsche 911 Turbo S was spotted testing in Europe, and it's not your ordinary refresh. This facelifted model is taking a leap into the world of hybrid power, and we're here to spill the beans. Now, there's been some speculation about what type of hybrid system Porsche is cooking up for this beast. Is it a mild hybrid or a self-charging hybrid? Well, the spy shots we've got don't show a charging port, which means one thing, it's not a plug-in hybrid. Those wild rumors can be put to rest. One of the key components of this hybrid setup is an 8-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission. It's expected to house an electric motor, but the real question is where the battery will go. It could be positioned either ahead of the six-cylinder boxer engine or between the front firewall and front cargo area. Now, don't expect a massive battery pack. Instead, we're looking at a small battery running a 400-volt electrical system for simplicity. You see, 800 volts are fantastic for high-performance electric vehicles like the Taycan, but for the Turbo S, 400 volts will do the trick. Now, take a look at this prototype. At first glance, it might seem quite similar to the pre-facelift 911 Turbo S, but there's more than meets the eye. That rear end you see previews a massive redesign dictated by the hybrid system. Even the exhaust pipes and finishers have been relocated. But, and this is important, don't get your hopes up for significant changes under the hood. As of March 2023, Porsche offers a range of power plants for the 992 generation 911. It all starts with a twin-turbo 3.0-liter boxer engine. The Turbo and Turbo S models step it up with a 3.7-liter boxer of the twin-turbo variety, delivering jaw-dropping performance. Meanwhile, the GT3 and GT3 RS keep things old school with a naturally aspirated 4.0-liter screamer. So, there's something for every Porsche enthusiast out there. The Porsche 911 Turbo S is gearing up for a mid-cycle refresh, and it's diving headfirst into the world of hybrid power. While we're still in the dark about some specifics, one thing's for sure, this beast is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Keep your eyes peeled for more updates on this electrifying Porsche, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your fellow car enthusiasts. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.